Hello everyone. To move something, we need to touch it and then push it, right? But a magnet can move a piece of iron without direct contact. So here, invisible magnetic force acts without direct contact like magic. But doesn't this invisible magnetic force seem like a mystery to you? Let us explore it. We fix a white sheet on a drawing board and put a bar magnet in middle of it. Then we sprinkle some iron powder uniformly around the bar and tap the board gently. What do we see? The iron powder would create a pattern similar to this. The bigger part of the powder would get attracted to the two poles. And near the middle region of the magnet, there would be very little powder left. So we can see the powder creating line-like patterns starting from both the poles. These lines are actually representing magnetic field lines. The region surrounding a magnet in which the force of magnet can be detected is said to have a magnetic field. You know, magnetic force has both the magnitude and direction like any other force and that force actually works along these invisible lines in the magnetic field. Now, if you want to visualize the invisible magnetic force, first visualize the magnetic field lines which emerge from the north pole and merge at the south pole. Thus, these lines are actually closed curves. The strength of magnetic field at any point depends on the closeness of magnetic lines or you can say the density of magnetic lines there. Look, near the poles, the lines are very close to each other. Hence, the magnetic force is very strong there. Now, the field lines cannot cross each other as they represent the direction of the magnetic force. So, if the two magnetic lines cross each other at any point, it would mean the magnetic force has two directions there which is not possible. And hence, the magnetic lines do not cross each other. Now, hence Christian Ostad, one of the leading scientists of the 19th century, accidentally found that a compass needle got deflected when a metallic wire carrying electric current was placed nearby. This means electric current causes a magnetic field that makes the compass needle deflect. This accidental discovery in 1820 was the birth of the concept of electromagnetism which links electricity with magnetism. Now, electric current flowing through a wire can make a compass needle deflect and this means it generates a magnetic field. And this means we can imagine it in terms of magnetic lines. But what would be the direction of these lines? Because here he couldn't determine a north pole or a south pole. Well, the simplest way of finding the direction of magnetic field associated with a current carrying conductor is the right hand thumb rule. Imagine that you are holding a current carrying straight conductor in your right hand such that the thumb points towards the direction of electric current. Just imagine, don't do it. Then your fingers will wrap around the conductor in the direction of the lines of the magnetic field. Now, imagine this rod as a current carrying conductor and current is flowing from right to left. What would be the direction of magnetic field? We hold the rod like this with right hand such that the thumb points to the direction of the current. Now look, we see from the right side. The fingers wrap around in clockwise direction. So, the direction of magnetic field is clockwise in a plane perpendicular to the wire. Now, when we view from the left side, 
the finger seems to be wrapping in anti-clockwise direction. Actually, the direction of magnetic field remains the same but our angle of view changes. That's all for now. Bye-bye.